Oh, welcome back. Uh, guess what? It's another 3D print. So this is a standard 2-inch boring head, uh, which I think probably quite a lot of us have got something very similar to this. Um, and most of the time you can set the diameter by picking up on the part that you're trying to bore out um, and then just sort of adjusting um, you know, the fine adjust to sort of get, get to the right size. However, sometimes you're doing parts where you can't easily see the um, the bore, it's sort of down inside the part, um, and you don't want to keep having to raise the thing out and adjust it and put it back down again and so on. And this may not be the best idea ever, but I'm sure there have been more, more than one occasion when I've wanted something where I could set the width of the cut, the diameter of cut, um, prior to fitting the tool in the machine because I'm sort of in the middle of a job and there's no easy way to do it. So I've come up with this. So it's a, a sort of a, a bed and a sled. This slides beautifully smoothly. Needs a bit of uh, sanding. We get a scale, slide it in under the washer there. And then all you do is drop the boring head in, line up the ruler, the rule, the scale with the end and twiddle it around and that is set to 52 millimeters straight away I know how much it is no dicking about I mean there's probably a million and one, one ways to do this and please let me know if there's a better way I've no idea how they do it in industry um, I'm sure some of my viewers may be able to give me an insight into that because um, on the face of it it's not particularly easy to measure where that point is you'd have to you know, like butt up against that measure the gap minus that gap off the diameter plus that bit and so on so there's a lot of you know messing about involved whereas i thought this way you know it's okay it's something you're not going to use a huge amount of time so that's why it's so great that you know, about 3D printing, you can print something like this for pennies, and it's not big or heavy. You can just chuck it in the back of the, the cupboard, as long as you remember you've got it, of course. And then you can just get it out and quickly measure with a minimum of fuss. I think that's going to be very useful. I'll put the files up, um, and be a link in the description, as usual. Uh, I hope that is of use to somebody. Uh, let me know what you think, because... It's been something I've been thinking about for a while, and, and I don't know how you're supposed to do it, really. I did do a quick um, search on the internet, although it's just bringing up boring heads when I search for boring head setting tool. So I'm probably not searching for the right things, but I couldn't see anything sort of like this. But maybe there's a way of doing this that uh, I'm not aware of. But I think if you've got a 3D printer, it's probably worth just printing one of these out just to just for the convenience of being able to do that I think that's probably got to be the quickest and easiest way of setting a, a diameter right I hope you like that um, short one today um, I'll see you tomorrow for the final one of this series thanks for watching